welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to achieve your peplum blouse now for the lower part of our blouse we are going to have our peplum in form of box pleats so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as i enjoyed creating it if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on now what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your peplum blouse we have our shoulder measurements bust waist and our top length so we'll go ahead now and calculate our measurements our shoulder measurement is 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 our bust is 46 so 46 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 13 inches our waist is 42 so 42 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we also have 13 inches now you will discover that both our bust measurements and our waist measurements we both have 13 inches however this is because there are some people or there are some female body shape which both the waist and the bust are like the same measurement so there's nothing to be worried about if your measurement falls that way so our top length now is 24 inches so this is basically from our shoulder level to our desired top length so what we are going to do now is to go ahead and add two inches for our sewing allowance so i'll go ahead now and add two inches i have 26 inches for my top length don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below you can also join us for training trainings are available both online training and physical training now the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements so our shoulder now to bust we have 10 inches so that's bust 10 inches so that's under bust we have 14 and half bust to waist bust to waist we have 8 inches waist to our half length That's what we are going to have as what? 18 inches. So we'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. Once we are done connecting the lines, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart line. So our dart line is four and a half. We'll go ahead and mark our dart line four and a half. Connect the lines together. Now, on the waistline, we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. On our waistline, we'll mark half inch on both sides. We'll go ahead and connect it to the bust line. Connect it to the bust line. Now, once you are done with that, go ahead and extend your dart line to your shoulder extend the dart line to your shoulder and this is what we are going to have on your shoulder line go ahead and mark five and a half so connect it now to your bust line this is what you are going to have what you do now is on your under bust go ahead and mark half inch on both sides on the under bust now mark half inch on both sides go ahead with your pattern master and connect the lines together and pattern masters are available at our store once you are done connecting the lines this is what you are going to do so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements your bust measurements and your waist measurements but before you mark your shoulder measurements you will go ahead and close your shoulder dart go ahead and close your shoulder dart and then you take your shoulder measurement which is nine inches our bust measurement is 13 our 
waist measurement is also 13 inches. So we'll go ahead now and connect the lines together to our shoulder. This is what, in order for you to get your princess that bustier, what you are going to do now is measure what you have for your arm o. So we have 10 inches for our arm o. Divide your arm o by 2. You have 5 inches and then you come down with 1 inch. So the reason why you are coming down with 1 inch is to have ease of free movement around your bust area. So shoulder to bust is 10. The half of it is 5. Come down with one inch, you are going to have six inches. So this is where you are going to go ahead now and connect your arm o line to your bust line to give you your princess that. So you go ahead now and connect it to get now and connect it together. So this is what we are going to have for our princess that bustier. Yeah, this is what we are going to have. So you go ahead now and mark your neckline. Mark your neckline. For the wideness of the neckline, I will make use of three and a half. For the deepness of the neckline, I will make use of five inches. I will go ahead now and connect it to give me a round curve. So this is what we are going to have. So we'll go ahead now and cut this out. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what we have. You can see our princess dart bustier. And don't forget to close your shoulder, the shoulder that you marked earlier. So this is what we are going to have now for the front block. We'll go ahead and set this aside. For the back block now, we we'll also have our basic measurements, just like the front block. The next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our zip allowance. So I'm going to make it of two inches. Make it of two inches. Once I'm done with that, I will go ahead and connect the lines together. Now, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurement, which is four and a half. Go ahead and mark your dart measurement, which is 4.5. Connect the lines together. Connecting the lines together, on the waistline, you will go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. Connect the line to your bust. So this is what we are going to have. Once you are done with that, the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement. So our shoulder measurement is 9 inches. Our bust is 13 inches. Our waist is 13 inches. So for the back block, we are going to have our normal darts because we are not having any princess dart effects for the back block. Go ahead now, use our ample curve and connect the lines together. Once you are done with that, you go ahead now and mark your neckline. So for the wideness of our neckline, we have three and a half. For the deepness, I'm going to make use of seven inches. And I want a square neckline. This is what we are going to have. So on our arm o now, go ahead and mark half inch for your shoulder slope. Go ahead and mark half inch for your shoulder slope. So this is basically what we are going to have for the back block. So we'll go ahead now and cut this out. So this is what you are going to have. So guys, I'm making use of this fabric. It's so cute. It's so cute, guys. And fabrics are available at our store. All you have to do is to check out the number in the description box. And then you can either place a call or you chat us up to get your fabrics, both in wholesale price and in retail prices. So, guys, this fabric is so cute. Anyways, now we want to cut out the lower part. It is also necessary for you to cut out your flame. 
whenever you want to cut out a style that requires flay, it's advisable you first of all cut out your flay before cutting out the main part. What we are going to do now is to cut out our peplon, which we are going to be using to achieve our box plates. Now, the first thing we'll do now is to fold our fabric. This fabric is so cute, guys. Let me know if you love this fabric in the comment section. <laughs> now, the first thing we have to do now is to fold our fabric into two. After folding it into two, you go ahead now and fold it again into four. Now, there are two types of flame and this part or this type method of flame that I'm using is the full flay which is going to make our um, peplon very full and to stand properly. So, after folding your fabric into four, the next thing we have to do now is to divide our waist by two. Now, we are going to go ahead and divide our waist by four plus two because we are making use of what? Our waist measurements at this part. And that is because we are attaching our peplon to our waistline. So, if what we have for our waist is 13 inches, all you have to do now is to take your tape measure and place it where you are going to have 13 inches. So, just place it randomly. To where you are going to have 13 inches so i'm going to have 13 inches around this part i'll go ahead and mark it make sure you place it to be sure that what you have is 13 inches so you place your tape measure this way what i have from what i have from this point now to where i marked is eight inches eight inches so i'll just take my tape measure this way mark eight inches take it this way mark eight inches once i'm done now i will join the lines together join the lines together now also go ahead and cross check the lines to be sure that you have your 13 inches so this is what we have here for 13 in mark it now for our half length we have 18 inches and what we have for the top length is what 28 inches right what we have for the top length is 28 inches so we have about 10 inches for the flay so you go ahead now and place your tape measure at this part and you mark your 10 inches you mark your 10 inches so you basically place your tape measure where you have your curve and then you take your flay length, which is 10 inches. Now, what you are going to do now is you go ahead now and place it from this upper part to where you have your flay length. So, I have 19 inches. I'll just take my tape measure this way. Make sure it still stays at this edge. Mark 19 inches. Take your tape measure this way. Mark 19 inches. And then you take it to the edge and then you mark your 19 inches. So once you are done now, you go ahead now and connect the lines together. So this is what we are going to have for our peplon. So this is where we are fixing to the waist. And from this part now to here is where we have as our flay length. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. So guys, after cutting it out, this is what we have. So you go ahead and open one part of your flame. And this is what it looks like. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside. Now for the upper parts, we've gone ahead now to fold our fabric into two. After folding your fabric into two, you place your pattern on it and then we'll go ahead and cut this out to give us two pieces once i'm this for the front block now we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two we've placed our pattern on it and once we are done with that this is what we are going to have for the full block of our princess that so you can see the shape of our princess that bustier and this fabric is so cute guys so this is what we basically have for the front block. Look, this is what we have. We basically have two pieces. So I'll go ahead now and cut out the lining for everything and show you guys what next we have to do. So guys, I've also gone ahead now to cut out the lining. So you can see that our lining is shorter than the flame. 
so i'll use the lining to turn out the flay and also for my back block i have my lining also for my back block i'll go ahead now and place it this way stitch your neckline your sides and you leave the arm hole because you're going to fix in sleeve for the back block once i'm done with that i'll show you guys what it looks like for my front block now i'll go ahead and iron my paper stay to it once i'm done with that you go ahead and stitch this side okay you stitch the two sides so that you have like a single piece for your back block and also for the lining also for the interface also you are going to have three pieces so you go ahead also and stitch the lining to give you a single piece and then once you are done with that you're going to have a single piece for your lining and a single piece for your fabric all you have to do now is to stitch your neckline stitch the sides and how to turn the front block we have a single piece and for the back block now we also have a piece you can see it's properly turned and ironed so the next thing you are going to do now is you go ahead now and join the shoulders together so you go ahead and join the shoulders together after joining the shoulder together after joining the shoulder together, the next thing you are going to do now is you make use of your bust measurement and your waist measurement to couple this up. So by the time you are done, you are going to have a single piece this way for the upper block. So one part where we have our flay, you will see that we've gone ahead to also turn it. Now, in order for you to have your box split, what we want to achieve now is our box split. What we want to do now is the lower part of our blouse where we are going to have our box split. So you can see the flay and what it looks like. So what we are going to do now is determine at what inch do you want to have your box split. But firstly, you are going to go ahead and leave your 2 inches for your sewing allowance. So once you have your 2 inches for your sewing allowance, down and take it this way. So I'll pin it down. Now, once you've done this this way, you can see that your pleats is coming up already. How many inches do you want for each pleat? Okay, how many inches do you want for each box? So I want about 5 inches for each box. This is where I have my 5 inches. I'll go ahead now and take it this way. Facing this other side. I'll pin it down. You can see you can see what it looks like already now you come to this other part now what, what we are creating now is your box split so you take this part now and it's key splitting you should meet this other one very close to each other you can see what it looks like very close to each other you go ahead now and pin it now we are making use of five inches for every box so you go ahead now and mark your five inches and then you create another box making sure it's facing this other side so i'll go ahead now and pin it so this is what we are going to have so you go ahead now and do the same for all the flay so this is what we are going to have you can see the box effect so once i'm done with that i'll go ahead and attach it to the upper block and show you guys what after joining it together this is what we have you can see how neat it is and you can see where our line is stopped now for the front this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have for the front so you can see the box pleats you can see what the bus split looks like. You can see how it's coming up like a curve. So the next thing you are going to do now is you've used your bust measurement and your waist measurement to couple this up to give you a single piece. You've used your bust, your waist to couple this up to give you a single piece, right? Now our top is almost ready. The next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and fix in your zip 
after fixing in your zip then our blouse is ready you can decide to fix in any kind of sleeve you want your regular sleeve or you can aim it if you want it to be armless it depends on you so i'll just go ahead now and fix in my sleeve and then put this on the mannequin and show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what we have for the top so i went ahead to make a wrapping skirt to match it with it if you're interested in learning how to achieve the skirt i'm going to go ahead and put down the link in the description box and you can also turn on the notification bell to know once the video pop up so you just go ahead now and you tie this part to the skirt and you have your wrap skirt so i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the comment section or any video you want us to make put it down in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next one bye